to prolong the holiday spirit, to stay zen in sport altogether and to progress while having a lot of pleasure. Here are the essential rules to be respected in sport. So start with the gear or outfit. For sport, no books, no copybooks, but a sports gear is obligatory. A pair of shorts, leggings or a tracksuit, a pair of clean trainers, a t-shirt or a sweater. All these clothes must be suitable for practicing sport. They are loose, in cotton, in order to move and sweat easily. Obviously, jeans, shorts or jeans trousers, blouses, jackets or woolly jumpers are not allowed. Prepare your gear in a sports bag and don't forget your swimsuit, a towel and shower gel to take a shower at the end of the class. Why take a shower? To clean yourself after sweating in sports class is essential for your hygiene and therefore for your health. Beyond the fact that being clean is healthy and makes you feel good about yourself, it is also a prevention for injuries. In winter, for example, when the body temperature reduces and you go back home without taking a shower, still wearing your sweaty clothes, there is a risk of skin irritation or even viral infection, such as colds. And if infected, the body is weakened and you could expose your body to sprains, fractured bones, muscular injuries. And remember, you are not alone. Sweat can leave a terrible smell. So you must shower, change your clothes and cover yourselves up before going outside. Don't forget to add in your sports bag one or two plastic bags to put your dirty trainers or your swept suit in. Before your sports class, if you have a locker, you can leave your school bag in it. But you must take with you your carnet de liaison and your sports bag. You must have them before the bell rings. Then wait with your classmates in line in the schoolyard for your teacher to accompany you to the sports gym. During the short walk to the sports gym, you must stay on the footpath and cross the road only on the zebra crossing. Before entering the gym, don't forget to throw your chewing gum in the bin. Take off your cap and show your carnet de liaison to your teacher. Don't forget to wipe your feet and then you can head directly to your changing room without running nor pushing your classmates. In the corridors where the changing rooms are, be careful not to touch the small red boxes as they are used in case of a fire and they can set off the fire alarm if they receive a blow. To find your changing room, you need to know where your sports lesson will be. If your class is in the gymnasium, you go to the changing rooms number one and two. One is for the boys and two is for the girls. If your class is in the dojo, you go to the changing rooms number three and four. Three is for the boys and four is for the girls. If you have class outside on the school grounds, you use changing rooms number five and six. Five is for the boys and six is for the girls. If you have class at the lake or at the stadium or on the basketball court, you use the changing rooms seven and eight. Seven is for the boys and eight is for the girls. The girls and the boys have different changing rooms. In order to respect everybody's intimacy, you mustn't go at any time, open or attempt to go to another changing room other than your own. Warning, the pupils who use the changing rooms number one and two are the only ones allowed to go directly to the gymnasium when already changed. All other pupils must wait at the entrance hall. In order to avoid theft, losing belongings, you mustn't bring valuable objects to the changing rooms, such as jewellery, money, or your cell phone, etc. Leave them in your locker 
which you lock, or at home. Otherwise, give them to your sports teacher at the beginning of class. It is also forbidden to bring spray deodorant, which contains gas. You mustn't touch the handle on the red box to avoid the switch for clearing smoke situated on the ceiling opening. Then you close the changing room's door without banging it, as they are fragile, and if they break, it could be harmful to your classmates. Remember, your changing room is not the school yard. You go to your sports class, you go to the gymnasium as a responsible pupil. You must change clothes quickly so that your class starts promptly. Be respectful. It makes life better. In life, be respectful are simple gestures to make, like a sincere smile, saying hello, holding the door for somebody, listening to others. Respecting someone is listening to somebody on how he or she feels. Also, it is being considerate to him or her, accepting his or her differences, even if it makes you scared, or you don't like him or her, or you don't agree with him or her or his, her ideas. However, being respectful has nothing to do with being indifferent. Being respectful can mean intervening if someone needs help or maintaining the serenity. So let's be respectful in sports class by speaking non-aggressively, respecting the referee's decisions and respecting the equipment and the sports facilities. The exemption. If you are injured or sick, or it is the doctor who signs the medical certificate to exempt you from sports activities, you have to show it to the teacher at the beginning of class. However, your presence is obligatory for sports class because there is not only practicing sport during class, there are other important roles to do too. If you did not have time to see the doctor, your parents can fill in the one day sports exemption an exceptional request on page 18 in the Carnet de Liaison, indicating the motive. However, this request is valid for only one day. Then you must bring a medical certificate if you are still sick or injured. At the end of class, after leaving the changing room, no pupil must leave the gymnasium before the bell rings. The emergency exit, which is situated near the changing room's corridor, is strictly forbidden and you could be severely punished if you use it as an exit. You wait quietly with your classmates for the bell to ring in the main gymnasium hall and you return to the main school building without stopping using the zebra crossing and the footpath exactly like before class. <laughs>